Hello, today we're cooking fettuccine rigatti pasta and shrimp sauce. Fettuccine rigatti is a little bit thinner noodle with the ribs in it. The ribs help to contain the sauce. This is fettuccine rigatti with little lines or ribs in the noodle. The first thing that we're going to do is prepare the shrimp for the sauce. And we're going to be using a half stick of unsalted butter. And We're going to mix the unsalted butter with a little bit of olive oil. And we're cooking, we're going to have the fire at medium to saute the shrimp to preparing for the sauce and for the main dish. We go ahead and add a little bit of olive oil. And now we'll go ahead and prepare the shrimp. We have here freshwater shrimp. This one's without the tail. We're going to be using them for the sauce. And the ones for the tail, we're going to be using them for the main dish. So we go ahead and put the shrimp in here, into the pan. to prepare them for the sauce. In addition to the shrimp, to the sauce we're going to be adding white onions. This is one half of an onion, a medium sized onion, and four cloves of garlic. and mix everything. And we're going to cook this until the shrimp turn red. That means that the shrimp are fully cooked. And uh, after that we're going to separate the shrimp the ones for the sauce and the ones for the main dish. Now that the shrimp are ready, we are going to separate the shrimp from the ones that we're going to be using for the sauce and the one that we're going to be using as the uh, main dish for this uh, fettuccine rigatti pasta. So I'm going to take out the ones with the tail so we can use them later. Now I'm taking the shrimp without the tail with the onions and the garlic mix. And we're going to be using this to prepare the sauce. And now we're going to go ahead and make the sauce for the fettuccine rigatti. These are the shrimp and along with the butter and the onions and the garlic we're going to put them on a food processor. We're going to be adding one chipotle pepper and a little bit of chipotle sauce. Also, we're going to be adding sea salt, just a little bit to taste. And we're going to be adding, this is cream milk, very, very heavy milk, uh, more than half and half. Uh, we call it heavy milk, 
or heavy cream and we're going to be adding about half a pint and now we're going to go ahead and blend it. Now it's time to add the fettuccine rigatti with the sauce and the shrimp and all the other ingredients that we're going to have for this meal. Fettuccine is ready. And we're going to be adding it to the skillet. And now we're going to be adding the sauce. We're going to stir a little bit just to get it all mixed in there. The uh, fettuccine rigatti was cooked almost al dente, not quite because we're going to finish cooking it in here and uh, we're going to let it warm up, simmer, until the sauce thickens before we add the other. While the pasta is cooking, boiling, we're going to be adding about a half cup of a mix of a Parmesan, Romano, and Asiago cheese. We're gonna go ahead and stir it to blend it. And you see how everything begins to thicken. So now it's time to add. First we're gonna be adding fresh tomatoes. Then we're going to be adding basil. Fresh basil to this mix. And I'm going to mix everything together. Mix everything together. And uh, now we're going to be adding the shrimp with the tail. There they are. You stir everything. Let it rest for about five minutes. Turn the fire off and then we'll be ready to enjoy. Oh, one more thing. I also like to add some green onions to this meal for better taste. Okay, so now we'll let it rest for about five minutes and we'll be ready to eat. And now it's time to taste our pasta. I'm going to get a little bit of pasta. Tomato. And one of our shrimp. This is fettuccine 
rigatti and shrimp sauce and we see how did we do wow mmm Delicious. All the flavors combined from the onions, the shrimp in the sauce, the basil, the green onions, the garlic, chipotle, the cheese, the pasta, This is definitely a meal to die for. Mm. Delicious.